Hey guys, Rob, Sigma 3 Survival. This is part three of, you know, the ultimate pimping your wiki series. And basically what I'm doing right now is I'm making a smoke rack inside my shelter. And smoke racks are really nice to have, um, you know, for a million different reasons. You know, keeping your clothing dry, making jerky, drying fruits and vegetables, things like that. Um, you know, and it's always kind of a problem getting your clothes dried out in the wilderness. I always, you know, pretty much everybody I've ever trained with has, has done this at least, you know, a few times if they do this, um, you know, type of training on any consistency. But you always end up putting your, your socks too close to the fire and, you know, something ends up getting charred. So what we're doing is, is building an overhead rack. And all I've done right here is taken a stick and run it all the way across. And it's tied, but it doesn't have to be tied. You can just jam it up in there, but since this is a really nice permanent camp structure, I uh, decided to throw, you know, like a foot of, or a little bit of paracord on each, each side. And then basically going to make a rack that's right over our head, right over the fire. And it's real simple. Uh, it doesn't take hardly any time to do, and it's a great addition to your wiki up. So we got our finished product knocked out and there's a lot of uh, bells and whistles that we're kind of adding just um, to make life a little bit easier. Um, one thing I did was when I was tying off the support pieces, I just took and made some simple little loops with paracord and there's a lot of things that you can hang off of these. You could put your little tools, this is just as an example. Um, preferably I would use this to hang up your socks. This is a great way, you know, if you want to get them um, basically dry real quick you can kind of raise and lower the height uh, so that your socks don't get too close to the fire and then another thing that we can do is we can have a dutch oven and we can hang this from our rack that way we can cook our soups and stews and let's say you don't have a dutch oven obviously that's not something you're going to throw in a, in a scout kit or whatever you can do this same thing with some lightweight titanium uh, or whatever kind of camp gear or cooking gear that you carry out in the woods because you definitely do need to have some cooking gear there's always ways to do it primitive but uh, you know one of my instru instructors josh you know he did two years in the woods um, living out of a shelter somewhat similar to this probably not as nice uh, because he did it with no tools no axe no knife um, <clears throat> and he did the first year completely primitive and the next year he came back and basically brought a pot and pan with him because that is the single hardest thing about uh, primitive living is is containers and then you know obvious uh, reproducing a good knife is is pretty difficult so if you've got a knife a saw um, and a container of some type you're living pretty high on the hog especially if you've had a few of our courses so um, Basically, I can adjust this height however I want. Just, um, you know, there's a million different knots that you can tie. This is just something I whip together, but, um, you know, you could uh, make like an alpine loop, you know, to where you could raise and lower this at will. Um, but this is just kind of another example of how we can kind of increase our, our comfort and, and bush living skills with, with just a, su a few simple techniques. Um, so the next thing that we're going to build for this shelter is a doorway so that we can, for really cold nights, we can essentially close it off. Now ventilation is, uh, you know, a fairly big deal with these types of shelters. So the doorway we're going to build is, is, is not only going to protect us from the cold, but is also going to help uh, allow air to come in. Um, so make sure that you check out uh, the next part in the series and, you know, like I say all the time, you know, guys, the best way you can help us is, is share this stuff. I mean, we've made tremendous, tremendous gains on our YouTube channel in the last several months. And, and we're really smoking all the numbers for a lot of the other um, YouTube channels out there, at least as far as subscribers are concerned. So keep up the, the good work and, and thank you for helping us spread our message and check out the next video.